Hey there, it's May now. It's already been four months since my last knitting update where I showed you everything I made in 2020. And so I thought it'd be nice to do a little update and show you what else I've been up to and some other stuff that I, I'm working on designing and as well the yarn that I acquired because it's a lot of yarn. It was my birthday last month, which means a lot of my friends and family were lovely and sent me yarn related things or yarn or knitting related things or just in general. I think at this point, it, it is very easy to just figure out what to give me, to be honest. Just, just, just give me yarn. So thank you everybody who gifted me stuff. You guys are fueling my addiction. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I got because it, it's very nice. I got a lot of really good stuff and I thought it'd be fun to go over it. I got some We Are Knitters stuff and actually this bag has much more stuff because I just, it didn't fit in my stash anymore so I just filled this bag. Uh, this is the first time I ever get We Are Knitters um, so I'm very excited to try it. I got a kit. This is the slushy Top. Yeah, I wanted to try something that was a little more advanced because a lot of their stuff is very simple, garter stitch kind of stuff and this looks interesting. It's, it's a top that has um, some motif on it like diamonds and the yarn looks really nice i'm gonna open it actually for the first time because i haven't even opened it just waiting for this video and i really like how they package it in general it's, it's really fun uh, i'm totally gonna reuse these, these bags for gifts or just in general to keep the yarn in Ooh, so let's look at it this is the pattern i never have printed patterns i always just work off of my phone so it's really nice to have like a full-on schematic right there and there um and it even has some instruction drawing so it'll be interesting you guys Ooh, stickers so they sent you stickers these are cool oh right 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 they send you extra needles and a little tag to put on your final finished product you guys i'm excited because i've never opened one of these before the yarn used for this is the cotton. It's actually really nice. I got like the natural color for this top just because I thought it would be nice to have a neutral. I, I, I've heard really good things about this yarn, so I'm excited to work with it. This kit, I mean, I just love how it comes in in a bag and everything is in there. You can also get the needles, but I didn't get those because I don't, I have enough needles to make this by myself. I did get more wear knitters cotton yarn in a different color. I got this uh, kind of olive green color and also cotton just because I, I really want to design another top for this summer or well, I mean before the summer ends hopefully I get to it and uh, I thought this would be a great yarn so I'm excited to to knit one top from a kit and then design using this yarn it'll be fun another gift that was given to me for my birthday by my sister and my brother uh, was a Pearl Soho gift card with which I bought this yarn it's called Sweet Grass, uh, and it's super fine alpaca uh, combined with cotton. And it's actually undyed. This is the natural color of it. Look how nice it is. It comes with 437 yards per skein. 437 yards. So this is like over 800 yards in just two skeins. So I hope this will be enough to do a top. I'm excited. This is really soft too. I really like Pearl Soho. I actually really miss going to their store i hope they open back again soon you can still buy stuff online but it's not the same i really wish i could just go and look at the yarn and touch it and pick the colors in person and all that stuff but hopefully now that everybody's being vaccinated in new york hopefully we can go back to the store soon here's another yarn that's gift i think this is from an etsy shop and it's called Buxom Catnits. It has kind of a funny tag on there. And it's um, Super Luscious Sock Yarn. Super Luscious. It's called, the color is Dark Siren. Looking forward to knitting some socks out of Merino Nylon. In this colorway. And last but not least, another friend gave me some yarn that somebody was getting rid of in their apartment building. I was like, I'll take it. This yarn is casket yarns and it's all alpaca, alpaca lace. Uh, so it's very thin yarn, 
which I wonder if I'm gonna have to knit with like two strands or something like that because it's lace but I just really like the color look at this it's um it's like a lavender kind of and I have another skin of this and then it also she also gave me this one which is cashmere cashmere linen and I and these are not my usual colors but but they're nice colors so I don't know what I'm make with it probably a top or something I do have another I think two skins of this so it should be enough to make something nice so I'm very grateful that people are just giving me yarn at this point just like throwing yarn at me and and I'm just like yeah sure I'll take all of it but at the same time I do have to get to knit or, or I'm never gonna finish now off to the stuff that I've actually made in the past few months um, and I started the year with socks. I'm kind of like in a, in a sock world right now. I went to never having knit any socks to I always have a sock pattern or a sock project in my needles. At the beginning of the year, I released my first sock pattern, which is the Fire Escape socks. And that was really fun. It was a little more challenging than I thought it would be. Because I feel like socks are kind of like a canvas that you can just put any pattern onto. But it wasn't as simple as that. So it was challenging and it was fun. And now it's out there. So if you guys are interested in trying my first sock pattern, um, go ahead and do that. <laughs> then after that, I knit something that was in my in my queue and then I mentioned in my uh, 2020 video, which was the Toriel socks. Those are like probably the socks that I wear the most these days. They're not quite shorties, but they are shorter than the regular sock. So even now that it's starting to get a little bit warmer, I'm still wearing them. And this is a pattern by Maven Crafted if you're interested in making them too. I used Knit Picks Troll, which now is I think my favorite sock yarn for when I don't know what sock yarn to use. It's great for like just just color if you want to do color work for socks or or combining colors they have all the colors in the rainbow so it's really fun to use stroll I just started a year with socks 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 <laughs> and nothing else but I did jump on to making a sweater and this was the hinterland sweater I am so excited about this sweater this was my first ever color work sweater and I don't really like doing a lot of drop shoulder stuff because I just don't like the construction as much but this is a really nice sweater and I and, and the color work is a little bit simpler I would say because it's only two colors so I think it was definitely a good decision to start color work with this one I finished it in Mar on March 31st so even in April I still it was still cold enough that I wore it almost every day to be honest because it's fingering yarn it was it's not too warm so it's a great like in between sweater like you can layer it or you can just wear it with without like a lot of stuff and still be warm i need to find more color work because now i'm hooked so if you guys have any recommendations on color work sweaters that you think i really should try i would love to hear what you have done in the past Oh, and for the hinterland, I used two different yarns. I used the Seven Sisters Arts Meridian in Water Nymph, which is what I used for the color work. And then I used Unicorn Yarn Lux for the rest of the body, which I still have a little bit left and I'm trying to figure out what to do with. This yarn was really special because it was a custom color made by Unicorn Yarn. Katie is amazing. She worked with me to create this color to you do this color work sweater and that was last year and that's the nice thing about you know buying yarn from independent dyers will really work hard to to give you the color that you want to give you the yarn that you need um, that no company is ever gonna do so kudos to people like Katie the Hinterland sweater is a pattern by Jennifer Steingas, who has a whole bunch of beautiful sweaters, to be honest. After that sweater, I switched gears a little bit and I wanted to go through my stash and use it up. And I had a whole bunch, and I still do have a whole bunch of um, bulky yarn that I bought at one point or another and it's just there and it's bulky, right? So it takes a lot of space in my stash but i didn't have quite enough to make a garment i wasn't really sure what to do with it until i ran into this pattern this is the linser pillow this is it it was behind me all along so the linser pillow is a pattern by katya maria 
<laughs> I used up all of, so a lot of my bulky yarn and now I have this beautiful pillow. I actually want to make more. I, it's such a quick pattern because again, it's bulky yarn, but then you end up with a beautiful pillow. It uses up your yarn. It's a free pattern. So I used just, you know, lion brand yarn, uh, wool is thick and quick. So yeah. And oh, and it has these little tassels that I think are really cute. I put it on this chair behind me. In the pattern, there's also a suggestion. If you don't have two colors to do the, the color work, you can always pearl the, the stitches that would have been a different color and it creates like a whole different look, which I kind of want to try. So there might be more pillows in my future, for real. And then currently I am working on this blanket. This is going to be the Ken's Cough blanket and it's a pattern by The Bros. It's a crochet project. I really, I really like doing crochet blankets. There's something about it that I just really like the texture and the way they finish up and usually they're a little bit faster. This is not being fast, <laughs> but it's worth it. It's because it's a The Bros pattern, it's very clean, very elegant. And the pattern comes in all these different sizes so you can make from a baby blanket or a stroller blanket to a queen size blanket I think which would take absolutely forever but you could do it and it uses the uh, herringbone, herringbone half double crochet herringbone and it uses a herringbone half double crochet uh, which is what creates this texture and then on the other side it looks more like this which kind of reminds me of brioche yeah i mean i'm not even halfway there but slowly but surely i will finish this blanket one day and it'll it's gonna be great i am using lion brand yarn wool ease as well although this is the worsted yarn you know it has acrylic so it's kind of a little maintenance and the last thing that i've been working on recently that i actually designed myself is the midtown mittens these are a new design like i said and of course you know the summer's coming so why not design mitten i might hold on to this pattern for a few months until the fall maybe because it just i know that people are not they're not looking to make mittens in the summer but if you guys like it and you really want me to release it sooner i could maybe do a secret release through my newsletter so let me know if you're interested i'm currently testing it and it looks kind of like this but i really wanted to make a, a, a pair that i could like unroll into my hand if it gets cold while still kind of having my fingers at the very end so i can use the phone what i didn't realize is because it's ripped it is very very elastic so this same mitten fits my husband's hand which is gigantic so it's great it's one one size is unisex the cuff is kind of long which is something i always kind of am annoyed at that my mittens or my gloves are not long enough to cover this part of my my wrist and my arm so this way you get really warm again it makes no sense in the summer if you are interested let me know I am very excited about these mittens to come out and like I said I have some summer knits patterns that I want to release hopefully design very soon I do have a lot of projects in the back of my brain and um, and all my needles and hooks and, and stuff but I'm trying to get through it as fast as I can without hurting my hands <sighs> but yeah that's that's what I've been working on recently and that's that's what I have for you today yeah, I think I will make more videos like this a little bit often to show you what I've been doing and some designs. I'm also going to be making a few more videos very soon um, with new with patterns that um, are already available for purchase, but I will make a free video version of them. So look forward to that and tell me what you have been knitting. And don't forget to tag me whenever you knit my designs because I love to see what you guys do. I've been seeing a lot of Astoria tops rolling in on Instagram now that it's getting warmer and I always get so, so excited to see people wearing my designs. That's all I have for today. I'm gonna go back and work some more on those in that blanket. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you very soon. Happy knitting.
I mean, I, I kind of worked these socks while I was working the hinterland. It wasn't, um, it wasn't like one project at a time. Who does one project at a time? I don't. 